Hello everyone, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Sophia. And for all of my returning watchers, thanks so much for popping back on. As you can tell, I am finally back home. I am also looking like a little bit of a mess. And you're probably like, Sophia, why are you looking like a little bit of a mess? I'm gonna say, because we're gonna do some closet clean out today. We have our community yard sale coming up and I, have a hot mess of a closet right now. So this is going to be a closet tour slash closet clean out video. Um, a lot of you have been asking for a closet tour and right now it is a hot mess. Um, I also have a lot of things that I am holding on to but they don't really bring me joy anymore. And so today we'll be going through my closet and saying, does this bring me joy, yes or no? if it does not, goodbye, I'm going to sell it because we all know that I may have a shopping addiction and I need to start moving some stuff out of my closet because it is bursting at the seam. Literally, I can see, it's a mess. It's a mess right now. Granted, I just got back from school, so I kind of just shoved everything in before my trip, but it's kind of still a mess and it needs to get organized because it's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. I'm going to show you my closet now I'm going to show you some of the things I'm purging and I'm going to show you the final product. So without further ado, let's get to it. Bye. <music> have traveled the very short distance from my chair to my closet. As you can tell, I have my wonderful shoe wall over here. I will be going through some of those. These are my very specialty dresses. I don't think I will be getting rid of any of those, but I will still probably look at them because there's also shoes down here at the bottom that I need to look at. So come with me as we venture over to my closet. I have a love-hate relationship with this closet. One, I love it because it houses all of my favorite things, but two, I absolutely despise it because literally an idiot built it. Um, this past year during quarantine, I did a little home reno closet makeover um, myself, which I was pretty proud of because I use power tools and I tried to fix my closet a little bit, but because it's not very user friendly. So, welcome to my closet. Alrighty, we've opened the doors. This is my closet. I have so much stuff down here at the bottom. I've got stuff bursting at the seams over here. Handbags that I don't even know. <laughs> more shoes. Oh my gosh. I've got more shoes down here as well. Um, yeah, it's kind of a mess and these Beckett's, they really don't fit. So I will tell you what the closet used to look like before. I'm going to keep backing up. So I used to have these little cubby holes all the way up here. There was, let's see, one, two more. So I had six, four more bucket spaces. Um, that's where those are from, <laughs> but I took those out and I put it in this hanging rod across the top. I also painted the back as you can see. Um, for my dresses because I had dresses and as you can tell these little cubbies that are meant for your hanging stuff they're just not very big and so my dresses would get crinkly and I was tired of ironing I've got sweatshirts crammed here I've got hats crammed over here I just have I mean there's a flower that I got on the Valentine's Day date um, extra hangers crinolines at the yin yang I mean I've got a Swim Across America banner. I, I don't even know. All this travel stuff up here, It's I've got to start. It's a mess. It's driving me crazy. I also do like a color-coded closet. My dresses, for the most part, are okay. And my cardigans are okay. But as you can tell, everything else is kind of a disaster. So I'll kind of show you what we've got going on. Obviously, here are my dresses slash jumpers, anything that's super long that's hanging that needs to be stored so it doesn't get wrinkled here. Shirts, blouses, tops, and, you know, one swimsuit because that's where that's at. These are shorts, skirts, and pants. So bottoms, essentially, and belts that I never wear. Crenolins and tool. Anything that's tool or a crenolin is here. And then cardigans, 
blazers and jackets. See, what I don't like about this closet is, is that it goes back forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, but it's so tucked away, I totally forget what's back there. And then I buy stuff that I don't need and I just forget about it. Like I have these tops, but I can't see them. And there's just, they're just hanging back there. Same with all my pants. Like they're just like, oh, sequin pants, I love you. Um, yeah. And then essentially down here in these buckets, I have my PJs that are bursting at the seam. Really need to go through those. Two pairs of sparkly slippers because, you know, underwears and bras. Athletic wear, athletic wear. I really need to go through my athletic wear, like ASAP. This is all accessories at the moment. Hats, scarves, um, tights, that kind of stuff, wintry stuff. Um, this is t-shirts right now, I think. Let's find out. Yeah, t-shirts, but like needs to be gone through. So I think it's best if we start with the dresses, honestly. Um, they're right in the center. And I think we should start pulling some stuff out. Alrighty, it is time to get started. Okay. There's so much. I don't even I really, I really do have too many clothes. It's it really is a situation. But then can you really have too many clothes? Like it brings me joy. Like, I don't know. Not all of them. So I think we should start with the pink area. Um these two are questionable. Uh I, I love my fourth of July dress. I'm not gonna get rid of that. I do only wear it on the fourth of July, but it's a cute little dress. So I bought this for a Disney bound um, for a Dapper Dan look. And I bought this also for a Disney bound for Mother Gothel. And see, now that I think about it, it's like, oh, I bought these for a purpose. I have yet to actually wear them for those endeavors. Do they bring me joy? I mean, like, not a lot of joy, but, like, I feel like I purchased them for... Oh, this is so hard. It's okay. I feel like I purchased them. I'm going to put them back. Just because I, I know what they're for. Okay. Pink dress, I wear that. My Marie dress, I love that. I love that. I love that. Kate Spade. Okay. Um, I know that there's two of these. Yeah. So I have two Lily Pulitzer dresses that I probably do not need to keep both. They're very similar. This one's got the lace on the bottom and it's a little bit deeper pink with the pockets. And this one's got like the gems across it with the lace at the bottom. I like this one better. This one's more Sophia. This is more like, yeah, she's sophisticated. This one's like little girl sophistication. Plus I think I wore it for like my eighth grade graduation. Fun fact, um, I have three cousins, Andrew, Thomas, and James. Shout out to you guys. And every time they graduate, I get a new pink Lily Pulitzer dress to wear to their graduation. So I wore this one to Thomas's and this one's to Andrew's, but James didn't actually get to graduate with COVID. So I didn't get one. So I'm going to say goodbye to this one. I think it can go in the goodbye pile, but I'm going to keep this one because you never, you never know when you're going to need a pink lily. Um, they really say that Lily Pulitzer is coming back in style. So round up your lily. Um, this dress, I absolutely love this dress. She gives me vintage vibes. She is from Unique Vintage. Um, it had a bow right here though. I took it to the dry cleaner and then the bow came back without it on there. Um, I love it. I have the same dress in mustard. And I think for the sheer fact that because the bow is missing, do you need to say goodbye to it? I'm gonna put her in the maybe pile. You guys are making me like feel like I need to do this. Wow. Um, jumper, love it. Uh that's a cute dress. So, mmm. Mmm. I absolutely love this dress. I haven't worn it probably in three summers because it is such a summer dress. I wore this dress to Disney Springs. I also wore it to just some, it's a summer dress. It's a little off the shoulder moment, but as you can tell, I, I don't wear it because it is so wrinkly like it is it's just one of those it's just cotton and it just gets wrinkled so fast and easy but i love it i got this dress actually when i was in europe i got it in london um at a boutique so like it has sentimental value and like i feel like if i took it to the be pressed like maybe i should keep okay so i either get rid of this one or this one 
I don't need two very summery yellow dresses. I personally like this dress better than this dress, but this dress is so much easier to wear because it gets, it doesn't, it doesn't get um, wrinkled as much. It has cute little bows on the back. What the hey? Um, once again, I'm gonna put this one in the maybe one just because functionality, it's not it. I will keep this though. Um, Bowden, love it. Polka dots, love it, love it. Uh, she's cute, she's cute. She's a little short, but like I make it work. She's a little short, but I make it work. These two, these two can go. Um, my cute little green dress. I took my senior pictures on this one. Um, this is my Halloween dress. It's just a really light knit cotton dress, but like, it's not my favorite. It doesn't really bring me joy. Um, I have to keep telling myself, do I see myself wearing this in New York? And the answer is no. Um, I love my jumper. This is my Air Force jumper. You probably saw that on a video. Maxi skirt, maxi skirt. My mom actually made this skirt for me and it's very beachy. It's like really cute, light maxi. I saw the fabric at Hobby Lobby and it was on sale and I was like, mom, I love it. So like, I feel like I should keep it cause she like worked really hard on it. But like I haven't worn it ever, I don't think. I don't know, like I feel like maybe somebody else would wear it. I feel like then it would be a happier little skirt. Okay, Disney dress, Disney dress, tweed, love that. Um, mm, this dress could probably go because the boobage is getting tight. I love this dress. This was my first Disney bound dress. I was Minnie Mouse, the OG vintage Minnie Mouse in it. Absolutely love it. Got it on Amazon. Um, and it just didn't hold up very well. It's so sweet and cute. Um, it's got a cute little tie belt, but I think it's time to say goodbye just because it didn't really hold up very great. See, this is hard. Oh, this is really hard. Um, I really like that dress. Same with that. <sighs> okay. Jumpers, overalls. Got to keep my overalls. I actually wear those. Um, that's a nice little summer dress. Um, okay, this one, meh. It's cute, but like, I think I'm too much of a Girl Scout in it. It's got a belt. I don't know, it's a fun color. I just feel like a Girl Scout in it. And I was never a Girl Scout, fun fact. And I have that really pretty, look, hold on. Do, 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 do. I have this really pretty dress. Um that's vintage over this one. Like they're not the same color, but like they're kind of the same. I feel like, do I see myself wearing this in New York? Like 20 year old Sophia, what does 20 year old Sophia wear? I love this one, I'm keeping this. This is my Sound of Music dress. This one, I don't know. I'm really into a pantsuit right now um, with like a blazer, I don't know. Hold on, let me put this back and I'll be right over with you guys. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this one's got to go too. It just did not hold up well. Urgh. See, this is the other problem. I have so many that I have to fight with them. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, yeah. Um, once again, I bought this for a Disney bound. I was Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Um, it's a super sweet dress. It's lavender, but see, it's just frayed. Um, it really didn't hold up well. It also, I wore it to Disney, right? And it, the, the lace really, really picked because I was sitting down on like all sorts of stuff. Um, I really love this dress just for the color, but I don't really like this dress. It's, it's really worn though. I'm going to put her over here. For being so great, Sophia. I'm just really proud of myself right now. Um, I'll keep that one because I don't have a purple dress if I get rid of that one. Like that one. I like that one. I just bought this one, but it's I got it thrifty and I just I got it home and I took off the tags. Like I was like, yes, this is a dress. I really love it. And now I'm kind of like, do I really love it? I don't know. I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it, which is sad because I just got it. I did wear it to dinner with my cousin, um, it's loft. It's just, it's a six 
and like it because I don't have boobs like it just it just hangs and it looks like a tent um I think that's the problem uh, that's a nice like throw on the weekend dress same with that uh black dress love it um love it love it my star wars cloak could be moved um that's right i have a legitimate cloak from star wars it's literally on brand um but it doesn't need to be hanging in my closet i have a disney bound box and it could be in there yes sometimes i want to be a sith lord um that's on me though that's on me oh so many black dresses, Sophia. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is good. 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 Oh, cute little white dress. Yes. Uh, I keep saying I'm going to wear this one, but like I've never actually worn it. She's like a little vintage like secretary moment. She has like a little bow tie here. I was going to color it, like dye it, but it's like this weird like stretchy polyester kind of. I don't even know. It says it's cotton, but look, it still has the tags on it. Yeah, I don't think it would color very well. It's really pretty though, but I've never worn it just for sheer fact. I like, I like white dresses, but like, I'm always afraid I'm going to get stuff on them. And then I'm like, oh gosh. And this one's like really bootylicious. Like you can see the shape. It just goes like my butt would back but I think it I think we can sell it oh I really like some of those dresses though it's okay and then that's my Valentine's Day dress I have to keep my Valentine's Day dress okay shorts shorts are tricky um very soon I'm going to do a realistic short try on um because big girls in shorts are just like I, I say big girls but you know what I mean big big thigh girls girls with thighs girls with anything below their hips um are very tricky and i have recently just found a couple of styles of shorts that i like and that fit i'm gonna pivot you down here with me probably like sophia you've gotten rid of nothing and i'm like yeah i'm making progress um these are brand new those go with my i mean okay come on come on they're adorable they're hot pink they go with a the suit that i got for easter pink shorts those are fine those are fine. Okay, so I feel like my short selection is fine. And they're in rainbow order, which we are here for. We love it. That's fine. That's cute. Um, oh my gosh. I found this. <laughs> Guys, don't take me to Hobby Lobby. I found this really cute unicorn fabric. Like, come on. Like, how fresh, right? Fresh. Um, and I talked to my grandma into making me a skirt. I was going to do it myself. I just ran out of time. And it's just like a cute little pleated skirt with a little elastic. Like, oh my gosh. But like, I haven't worn it. Can I wear a unicorns as an adult? Like, or will I get bullied? Like, if you see me in New York City wearing a unicorn skirt, like, is, like, are you going to think, like, I'm, I don't know. Like, I'm 12 or... Like, maybe, like, a little preteen, like, would like to wear this. Like, maybe not, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like, a really cool teacher would find it and be like, yeah. Unicorns. I love unicorns, though. Like, no shame in unicorns. I'm just, like, can I still wear that? That's the question. I wish you guys were actually here to talk to me. That would be helpful. Uh, skirt, Christmas skirt. Great. So all of our red skirts are taken care of pink mini skirt i love it yes gold skirt yes yes we're here for it oh empty hanger okay okay well um mm, these belts let's talk about the belts i really i think i'm gonna get rid of both of them they literally just hang in my closet like this was like middle school sophia and like this one was really tight because like Believe it or not, I was a double zero in middle school. That's hilarious. So pink. Um, we're just gonna, you know, I don't wear belts. Okay, but okay. I do want like a black belt though with like the circles on it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the gold circles? 
I look like my brother. He stands with pictures like this, like the gold hoops that are gold like this. Like, I don't know. I think that'd be cute. I think it'd be great for your skirts. Um, okay. Skirt, skirt. Yeah, that's a cute one. I'll keep it. Okay. Um, this one can go. I don't think I've ever worn it. It's very like giving me taxi vibes. Um, I think I got it thrifting. It does match my shoes. I do love black gingham though. I have a lot of black gingham. I just, this could be somebody else behind it. Oh, that's my cat. I love my cat. This is a good skirt. This is a good skirt. Okay. Once again, I bought this skirt thrifting because it's literally, do you see it? Oh, it's Mr. Hugs. Do you want to say hi? No, he does not look like he wants to say it. I bought this skirt, skirt, uh, skirt thrifting. I'm so bad about this. I buy things all the time. Um, it's a super cute, like little mini. It's loft as well. Oh my gosh, we're me and loft and thrifting stuff. Um, I really like it. I feel like I should. I feel like this is like sophistication, like Christmas. It's just like because it's got like the red in it and the glitz in it. Like this is like holiday. So I don't think I've given it a chance yet because like. I can't wear this now, especially not here. It's like a hundred degrees outside. So I feel like I should keep it, even though I still haven't worn it yet. I just think it's more of a January, December skirt. Rationalize it. Yeah. Okay, these are my favorite white pants, but that's not where they go. They actually need to be on a different hanger, but we're just gonna right there for right now. Um, hmm white skirt i love this skirt i bought it for my senior photo session um fun fact though i i popped a button i was i got my pictures taken at the dairy barn for those of you who don't know it's a dairy barn in the middle of the grassy fields and i was like ooh, vintage oh i had like suitcases and i was like being cute and stuff and a change in like this little like tiny corner right because I had costume changes of course and I popped this main button off like I was going so fast I just like caught it off and we had the photographer had like a safety pen with her but it had like a butterfly crocheted on it so like if you look really carefully in my senior pictures you can see the crocheted butterfly like tucked in the skirt I was so devastated and it was raining and it was hot I was that was not very good I was not happy I was not very happy um but I fixed the button um once again with the white though I just I don't know I wore it with a black like you know bodysuit I don't wear it I really don't and I'm also in this awkward transition so I really like transitioned to like just vintage like I was just wearing everything from like the 50s and 60s and like now I'm kind of tying in like some more modern stuff it's just more like decadent I like I love that word it's my word of the year I feel like so it's like a little bit bougier like I just want to feel like high class like I'm your rich aunt kind of vibe um lots of color still and yeah yeah that's where I'm at those are pants oh these jeans are way too small yeah no honey skinny jeans mm. Once you've tasted a mom jean, you can't go back. I don't know, wait, are these the good jeans or not? These were two. I don't know if I'm the good jeans or not. Oh. I bought these for pageant. I wore these in my high school pageant. They are stretchy though, like, I might have to try them on. Cause like a black denim, like a dark denim like that is nice. I don't know. I don't want to. I'm gonna put those in the try on pile because like I don't I don't think they'll fit. But like I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting into the back. Uh jeans. Ooh, we gotta look at those. Oh wait, these are my mom jeans. Those all stay. I just have two pairs of mom jeans and a black pair of jeans. Um, these are good pants. Um, so those will go. We're in the blue section of my pants now. Those are good. What is what is this? Those are my marine pants, my dress blues. They're not literally, but sparkle pants, black pants, gingham pants. What is this? 
Oh, those are yellow swooshy pants. I like those. Let's put them in their color order. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> they go here. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I'm like tucked all the way in the closet. Can you even hear me? They're all the way at the back. I don't know they exist. Oh, these are my teacher pants. They're not really teacher pants. They're pixie pants. These are a four. I like to wear them with my red flower top. They have blue centers. I might need to try those on though as well. Um, they're all navy, so they might stretch. But like, I don't, I'm in that weird stage where I'm like, need to like try stuff on still. Oh, um, I bought these when I went to Costa Rica. For Costa Rica, not like, in Costa Rica, they're old navy. Um, nice little yellow flowy pant um, to dig ditches in. That's what I did in Costa Rica, my um, conservation trip, sea turtle conservation trip. I I don't think I need them. Like they're just not me. They're like a linen and they're mustard. And I just, no, no, just no. No, okay. We're making progress, I feel like. Like, I've not gotten rid of a lot, but like a little bit by a little bit, you know? Like, it adds up. Oh, great. I forgot I had these. These are great pants. These are like swooshy bougie pants. Those are great for traveling. I'll keep those. Not that I'm traveling anywhere anytime soon, but you know, it's always good to have a good travel swooshy pant. Um, also, great for vacation. Oh my gosh. Tool. That's on the pants side. That's in the wrong spot. Hello. I'm gonna have to cut this video into two parts because I have to go to work soon. That's my coaching shirt. Um, I love this tool skirt. Very holiday. Didn't know I was gonna sing to you too, did ya? Okay, boots, 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 boots. Um, since I've gone to Northern school, I have collected my fair share of boots. Let me tell ya, I hate boots so much. These, ugly. I've never met a cute winter boot. If you have a cute winter boot that's snowproof, please let me know. Um, these are going. I don't like them at all. I'm going to New York, but I have my, oh no, just no. I do not like them. They're not comfortable. No. These, you live in the North, buy a Sperry boot. Love my Sperrys. Love these boots. They're green too, so they're not too terrible. Um, this is my extra wallpaper. That does not need to be in my closet. I really don't have space for it in my closet. Um, duck boots are down here. Oh my gosh, I have like riding boots out the yin yang. Uh, do I need to keep? Okay, so here's where I'm at. Combat boots, like, are they still in? I think they went out in 2010. Like, I'm not even joking. I. Like, I hate fur. Just in case you were wondering, I don't like it. I feel like I should keep these because like they are like a good sturdy waterproof boot and I will be going to New York where it's nice. I feel like I should save these for like Disney bounds. Like this is giving me like I'm Captain America, like I'm giving you, I'm doing a Marvel Disney bound, but like I'm not sure. Maybe pile. I don't need all these boots. Okay, I will keep these though. I will keep them. Okay, so we have those. Oh my gosh, reach. Oh look, riding boots. Hooray, I wear them with one dress, that's it. But I keep them for that one dress. I'm digging into the abyss. Oh, here's its matching friend. Okay, so these guys can go here. Oh, they're dusty. Okay, so that, that is that. Those are the boots. Okay, so I have my Sperry boots, my duck boots, 
those fur, fur boots for winter and then my brown riding boots. I feel like that's fine. I feel like that's socially acceptable. I also have my white booties. Love these. Cause they're like, they're glamorous. Like that's a booty I don't mind. Um, these need a different hanger. And I have my little wellies. Love my target wellies. So fun. Those are my brother's shoes. He's growing so fast. And he has like, this great selection of Adidas shoes. I'm just like, I mean, nobody knows. Nobody's gonna know. How would they know? No one's gonna know. How would they know? They're gonna know. You know what I'm talking about? You guys think I'm crazy, I'm sure. Just a little bit. White pants, you belong all the way back here. Perfect. Okay. Well, progress. Okay, what in the world is all of this? That looks like stuff I can go through later. Doesn't need to be my closet though. Sweatshirts. I have one too many sweatshirts. Oh, uh, this is my LIM college sweatshirt. I got it for winning the design competition. Um, fun fact, my best friend got me this sweatshirt. And then like, I have all my mom's OU sweatshirts from like when she went to OU and I love them because they're crew necked. I hate a hoodie. I hate hoods. I don't know what it is. I do not like it. Um, so I like a crew neck and she has a bunch of crew necks, but I think I will bestow upon her, her vintage crew necks. I don't know. I'll keep a few. I have so many though. I have so many from swim team too. It's like, oh my gosh, the Browns. This was hers from like when they were good. I'll keep the Browns. I like the Browns better than the OU. Oh, my Western hoodie. Mm. Should I keep it? I did go to school there. I don't think I ever wore it. Carolina. Nobody nobody we know goes there. Shroot Farms. Gotta keep Shroot Farms. Bears, Beats, and Battlescar Galactica. I love the office. Okay. Let's look at these shoes. You like my tap shoes? Sometimes I tap dance for fun. Um, fun fact, I would tap dance in my dorm room. And my neighbors would be like, oh, Sophia's up, twitted, tap dancing again. You could hear me in the hallway. Okay, I love these. I love these. If you don't have a pair of Rothy's, go get you some. They're made out of recycled water bottles. Literally the comfiest flat you'll ever wear. I don't know what you mean by it. Sorry, sorry. $40 flip-flops I bought in Disney because my feet were hurting. I feel like I wear all of these shoes. I definitely do. 100%. We can put these here though. We can like consolidate a little bit. Okay. I feel like this is good. This is progress. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry. I got a little overwhelmed. So the swimsuit does not need to be hanging up. Although I was contemplating wearing it as a bodysuit. And I think I could definitely do that. But I'm literally working 24-7 this summer, so I probably won't have time for that. But that can go with the swimsuits. Because um, I was like, oh, that would be so cute, like, with this. Or, like, I have a red skirt. I thought it would be super cute, like, if I was going someplace. But, like, I never go anyplace. Um, let's move over here. Let's work on the bottom. Let's work on the bottom. Let's look at our handbag selection. So this is the bag. This is my Kate Spade bag that I invested in. Um, for school, I did all of my schooling in it. I didn't carry a backpack. No way, Jose, I carried this. This pink purse can go though. She can go, I don't. Mm -hmm. um, I love this bag. This is my yellow bag. I carry that and uh, probably could switch it out. This is also a Kate bag clutch that I have. Look how cute it is. It's got glasses on it. Orange bag can go. I don't really like orange that much. It will keep my yellow purse though. That's good. Um, this is my Disney bag. It's got all my pins on it. This is this is a black box. Okay, I probably don't need four black handbags. Um, I like the I like the bedazzled one. Like this one's glitzy. 
right? She's too cute. You throw her over your shoulder like, hello, vintage. Um, this one is also vintage. It's super cute. It's got little glitzy stuff on it. And look, it came with this little tiny change purse. And I said, oh, too cute. I really think I'll keep these two. And I think I will send this guy pack in just because it's vintage, which is cool and all. It's gingham on the inside, but like I think I would rather carry something with sparkle on it. Plus it's kind of grandma. Oh, dusty. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Um, this is a Kate Spade lanyard that I purchased. Um, because I thought it was a baggage tag, like for your luggage. It's a lanyard though. Um, it still has the tags on it. I think I'll probably keep it. I might need an ID holder at school um, next year. I'm not too sure. Plus, it matches my school bag. Um, all of these long necklaces are going. I haven't worn a long necklace in probably since forever. Hand sanitizer because that's the world we're living in. So, goodbye necklaces. They're all tangled anyway. I don't wear them. They just hang in my closet. Okay, so this guy can go here. Okay, look at us. We're doing great. Um, I got this on a date. Didn't go anywhere. <laughs> my step stool. My step stool normally sits in my closet because I am super short and I'm, I can't reach any of my high heels without it. Um, literally, a stomach. Ah! So my Cross America banner does not need to be in my closet. Check our time. No, we're good. Um, hangers can come over here. I tend to like to keep my hangers in one spot. They're kind of all over the place. There we go. Okay, crenolins. We have to keep the crenolins. Um, school ironing board. I hated it, but it's a necessity. This can go in the garage though with all my other school stuff. Yeah, okay. So let's see. Now we've got our crenolins here. Oh, look! Socks! I have a box full of socks here. Wow. Okay. See? Look at all the things you find when you're cleaning out. All this tool, all this tool. Lay flat for me, hun. Oh, fun fact. If you're like me and you take a bunch of stuff to school, big industrial-sized garbage bags for your hanging stuff, that's the way to do it. Don't take it off the hangers and try to do it that way. No way. Um, my slip, that's very important. What the heck is this? What are these? Oh, they're short overalls. I was like, what happened? They're short overalls. No. Just no. Um, I don't I don't have the booty for that anymore. I mean I ha I, yeah. Um I don't need skinny jeans. That just sounds like a pain. I'm like, I don't understand where we're coming from with like the millennial versus Gen Z. Cause technically, technically I'm Gen Z. Uh, I was born in 01, but like, I think I identify more as a millennial. I really do. I don't know, except I, I like mom jeans better. So maybe not. I think they're just more comfy. I also have a full vintage suitcase back there, in case you are wondering. Um, a cardigan in every color because, you know, you never know. Blazer-esque jacket, blazer-esque jacket, jean jacket, blazer, my leather jacket. This navy one should be moved up here. Um, blazer, rain jackets, I have three. And then my Christmas sweaters, that's fine. That's great. That was easy. I need to. Okay, so these are my hats. Um, I had my hats hanging up above here, but I really had too many, and I've narrowed it down to. Well, I narrowed it down to two, and then I just recently purchased this one for Disney Bound. But I also feel like a British nanny when I put her on. She's not all the way on. I have pigtails on. I feel like a British nanny when I wear it. Like, hello, top of the morning. Where are the children? Um. So yeah, I think I'll probably just slide these back under. There is maybe a little bit of space up there, but then I don't think I would ever get them down because I can't reach them. So I'm just gonna stick those back there on this little shelf, uh, like this. I am gonna have to make 
this into two parts, probably film this in two parts because I do have to go to work in just a little bit. Okay, shirts. I really don't want to do that right now. Let's not do shirts right now. Actually, we're gonna do shirts right now. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. I'm moving you back over here. Oh my gosh, this video is already 30 minutes long. <gasps> we're gonna do shirts, then I'm gonna take a pause. Yeah. Oh, gosh, okay. White blouses are at the front just because I'm, I, I would more likely to wear a white blouse than anything. Um, that can probably go. I like that one. I like that one. That's a bodysuit. Um, I like that one. It's a wrinkled mask though. That's, uh, uh, to keep or not to keep? That is the question. I don't think we keep. I'm not a teacher. I'm not saying that you only have to be a teacher to wear it. It's just giving me teacher vibes. You know? You know, I'm pick you're picking up what I'm laying down. Um, turtlenecks. Red blouse. So this should go here. I love that shirt. Purple. We love purple. We really do. So my tops are not really color coded, which is probably like Sophia, but it's just more out of like, how do I wear them? Because like when I'm wearing, if I'm wearing a shirt, which is not likely, but when I do wear a shirt, um, that sounds so bad. Like I don't wear shirts, but I'm more likely to throw on a dress. But, um, when I do put on a shirt, I need it to be quick and easy. You know, I don't want to have to hunt for it. Um, goodness gracious, so many black tops, but that's okay. I do wear them. This shirt, I have a plain one. I do like that this got like some puff to it. I'll probably keep it. It's very interviewy. Um, with a good press, it'll be fine. This shirt though, hmm. Am I like a chambray shirt? I don't know. I did wear it the other day with some shorts. Hmm. I feel like I could live without it. Like, I know I did just recently wear it over spring break, but like, I feel like I can live without the chambray shirt, you know? You picking up what I'm laying down? Okay. Wow. So much better. Okay. We are making progress. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm going to take a pause and we are going to move into the buckets. I don't know if we really need to do shoes. We did shoes here. Um, I feel like that's fine. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna, I know which shoes I'm getting rid of. I'm gonna get rid of these. As you heard me talk about in my other video about my red pumps, these are the ones that are so uncomfortable. They are an Alex and Marie. They're so pretty though. Like look how vintage-esque they are hurt my feet because they're so small but okay those are going come in come to the shoe wall with me I'm gonna spin you come to the shoe wall can you see them oh my goodness look ba, 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 ba. welcome to my shoe wall um like I love my shoes I really do I don't feel like I feel like that's good yeah could I get rid of a pair of a navy shoe probably I mean, probably. I, I have three pairs of navy high heels, so, like, I probably could get rid of them. But, like, this Mary Jane is different from this T-strap. It's different from, like, those ha those super tall stiletto-esque kind of shoe. You know, like, sometimes I need different options. I really do. Okay. Well, I feel like we did a good job. I'm going to move on to athletic wear now, but that is pretty much my closet tour and i appreciate you guys popping on and watching this video is very long but i needed the moral support to get rid of not that much but it helps and i will see you all next time Bye bye